How's it going guys? And in this video, we are going to be walking through how you can make an EC2 instance and then connect to it through SSH in Windows. And so I'm gonna walk through that right now. And so the very first thing I'm gonna do is just spin up an instance from scratch. We're gonna make a key pair file for that. Um, so to do that, if you're at the AWS homepage, you're just gonna click on EC2 or you can search for EC2 up here in the services. Click on that, it takes you to that EC2 dashboard. Um, and so under instances, you can go to instances and then launch instances. And I'm going to stick with the free tier stuff because I'm cheap <laughs> and I'm going to go with Amazon Linux 2 and I'm going to select that. I'm going to keep the architecture at x86. Uh, I'm going to again go with the free tier here for the T2 micro and I'm just going to configure instance details. I'm going to do one instance right now. I'm not going to change anything on the configure instances page. I'm going to go to add storage. We're going to stick with the default eight gigs of SSD stuff uh, running. And so I'm just gonna add some tags. I'm going to add a name tag. I'm gonna give this a name. I'll call it VS instance one. And then I'll go to configure security group. And so this is a really important thing because if you misconfigure this, you will not be able to do anything. Um, and so right now you can see that it creates a default security group and it is, the defaults are correct, but I just wanna kind of walk through it a little bit. So we're gonna be allowing SSH traffic uh, with the TCP protocol on port 22 from anywhere. So that's what that CIDR block means. And so if you don't have this rule, then your EC2 box living in AWS will not be allowed to talk to anything. So you need to make really sure that you've got a security group with this specific traffic allowed for it. So if you make any changes on this page, uh, that could be a reason why you can't connect to it. So I'm just gonna leave everything as is. I'm gonna name this one um, VS SSH SG, uh, just so that I have it for my own purposes. We're gonna to go to review and launch, and I'm just going to launch this as is. And it's going to ask me uh, if I want to create a key pair or use an existing key pair to associate that with my instance. I'm going to create a new one just to show you guys how we do this. So we're going to create a new key pair. Uh, I'm going to stick with RSA, I'm going to give it a key pair name. I'm going to call it VS um, key pair one, and I'm going to hit download key pair. And uh, I've already created that name, so I'll go with uh, you know, VS key pair. So you can call it whatever you want. Uh, hopefully you're more original than me. Um, and so what it does is it installs or downloads a uh, .pem file to your downloads folder on the local machine. This applies to both Windows and Mac. Um, and so now that I've done that, I've created a key pair file. I need to click on launch instances. And what that's doing is it's going to uh, tell the instance that AWS is spinning up to accept my PEM file as a way of authenticating to it. And so um, if I now go to view instances, I can see that we've got this thing right now that's in pending, VS inst one. And if I refresh this, still in that pending state, so I'm gonna give that a second. Um, and while this is spinning up, I will say what you need to do on Windows in order to uh, allow for this SSH uh, connection. And so in Windows, uh, if you hit the start key and you go to add or remove uh, features or there's some kind of page here that turn uh, turn windows features on or off and open this guy up um, there is something in here that allows for open ssh um, and so uh, what you need to do and you can just do a quick google search uh, enable open ssh windows 10 uh, you can just go here, apps, apps and features, optional features. So this web page uh, is what we're going to be doing. Um, so I'm just going to go to apps and features and uh, optional features. And in this case, we can go to add a feature and then open SSH. And you only need the client. Um, and I've already installed that. So it's right here. Um, but if it isn't, you'll go through the install steps on that. Um, and it's pretty straightforward you might need to do a reboot. And the way you know it works is if you open up a PowerShell script afterwards, um, I've got one running right here. If you just type in SSH, you'll see that it gives you some usage help uh, when you run that command. So uh, that's what, that's how you know it's it's been successful in installing. Um, and so now that we've got that PEM file downloaded locally to our machine, we're gonna go back to our EC2 instance console. Uh, we're gonna refresh this. And again, we're seeing that it's running right now, which is great. I'm gonna click on the instance ID and it's gonna show me it's public IP v4 address. And the reason why we need to know this is that this is how we're gonna SSH to it. So 
Um, if we, I'll make this half the size of the screen. We'll do this on the other half. Um, can we go a little bit smaller? Um, but basically what we're gonna do is right now in my PowerShell, uh, I want to change directories. So I'll do ls and I'm going to change directories to my downloads. So cd downloads and do another ls and we can see that I've got my key pair in this directory. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, run the command ssh dash i and this is where I'm going to specify that key pair file so I'm going to type in vs because that's what I title my key and I'm going to do tab it's going to auto fill in that name um, and now what I'm going to do also is take this public ipv4 address copy that and because we were running an AL2 and Amazon Linux 2 AMI on this EC2 instance we know that there's going to be a built-in user called ec2-user, so ec2-user at, and then that public IPv4 address. We're going to hit enter, and it's going to tell us that the authentic authenticity of this host can't be established. We're just gonna say, yes, it's okay to continue connecting. And now we have successfully connected to our box using the OpenSSH client in Windows, along with our PEM file that we downloaded locally from the AWS console. So we are now in here and we can start doing some Linux commands or other things we want to like install programs and, and set this server up. But that is how you can set up an instance and connect to it through SSH on Windows. I hope this helps. Thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time.